Welcome back. Today is the grand finale of our potato week. And for our grand finale, I am doing my famous Spud Mac. Not Sputnik. <laughs> for all of us space nerds, Spud Mac. And what that is, is it is our baked potato scooped out and stuffed with my Gruyere mac and cheese. You are going to love it. And then we're going to top it with our smoked barbecue pork roast. It's going to be phenomenal. So right now we're just getting our potatoes seasoned, salt and pepper into that, and then they're going to go into a 350 oven to roast until nice and tender all the way through. And there we go. Okay, now, after you have baked your potatoes and you want to bake till they're, you know, good and tender throughout, you slice them in half as you have see I've done. As you can see there, and then you're going to come in and you're going to scoop out most of the inside of that potato. But remember, you've got to leave a little bit. So you want to leave about a quarter of an inch of potato in there because that's going to hold your shell together for you to add all of your wonderful stuffing. Okay guys, now we've got our potato shell ready. We've scooped out the filling. Now you're gonna put a little bit of like either a pepper jack or some more of that Swiss and Gruyere in there because you've gotta have something in the base of that potato to hold on to the mac and cheese as it goes in. And remember that we did our Swiss and Gruyere mac and cheese for this. And guys, if you wanna see how I made that Swiss and Gruyere mac and cheese, Check that out. I'll link that above, okay? And here is our roast. You know what? I forgot. A little more sprinkle of cheese because that's going to help get that pork. Guys, I'm topping this with my barbecued pork roast with a special spice rub. That link will be for you as well, okay? Looky there. We got a couple more of these to do. Oh my goodness sakes. You know what? When it comes to comfort food, I don't think you can beat this. You got like a baked potato shell, your homemade mac and cheese, right? And then barbecued pork roast. Yum. What's not to love, right? And you got it all together in one meal. Okay. All ready? Now, we're going to put these back on a baking sheet and put these back in the oven at 350 for about 15, 20 minutes till they're all warmed through. All right, guys. Our spud mats are out of the oven. They were in there for about 15, 17 minutes. We're going to finish off with just your, whatever's your favorite barbecue sauce, right? Just a little bit there, like that. Or you can make my favorite barbecue sauce, which that recipe and that video is online for you. Check that out. Okay, now, a little bit of that. Okay, now, time for a taste test. Oh, look at that beauty. We're so beautiful. And tell me, guys, leave me a comment on this. Have you ever in your life seen a macaroni and cheese stuffed baked potato? Because I know you've heard of Sputnik, but not Spud Mac. <laughs> A little taste, got a little bit of everything in there. 
Mm. Oh boy. Comfort food at its finest, you guys. How do you beat that? I don't know. But you gotta try this out. And when you do, don't forget to leave me a comment, guys. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see this and all the other wonderful videos that we're uploading for you each and every week. And don't forget, guys, my mac and cheese, Swiss and Gruyere homemade mac and cheese. That video is up for you. And the homemade spice rubbed pork roast. That video will be up for you too. So check all those out. And we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.